One of the really big trends that we're seeing in the analytics space is the move towards talking about the analytical user experience. And you know, what is that, you might ask? Well, firstly, it's really a shift from what I would describe as passive use of analytics. So dashboards, reports, and things that people were expected to use, but didn't actually add a lot of value to the transactions or the decision-making they had to make. You know, it's all about really either supporting decisions and transactions or triggering new decisions and transactions. And it's, it sounds subtle, but it's really quite profound. And let me give you an example of that. You know, so we're a big user of Salesforce. Naturally, there we are, unfortunately, Salesforce reports that we also use as well. But it doesn't do the job that we actually needed to do for us. And let me explain why. So within Salesforce, the reporting that you get is pretty much about the here and now. It doesn't really drive decision-making in terms of managing your sales organization. And what we've done is we've extracted the data out, we've merged it with our financials, and it gives us much, much deeper visibility into the deals that have closed, the invoicing left to be done, et cetera, et cetera. And that allows our entire sales organization to have what's called a bridge to plan management meeting. So they can go through the current month, the current quarter, and they look and look at every deal that is forecast, is in pipeline, or is in upside. And you know, as they have this conversation, they can question and probe into those deals. And if those deals need to be moved or moved forward or moved up, they can pretty much go directly back into Salesforce, update those opportunities, and in real time, see the results of that conversation. That is an analytical experience. We're using data in a way to really drive behavior, to get people working together to actually make decisions and move the organization forward. You know, contrast that to a simple dashboard that's in Salesforce that doesn't give you that detail and the interactivity, and you've got a passive dashboard. You've got the old school way of working with data. And so this kind of technique and this thinking about using analytics in this way is very, very, very different. And it's far more than just simply a better user experience. It's ultimately about using data to drive behavior. And that's what makes it so exciting.